Hey, what's up? So, I just got this iPhone 5 warranty out. Uh, it's the same exact, well, not the same exact one because that one was swapped out. Anyway, uh, the AT&T iPhone 5 that, you know, was in the last video, I, uh, I said that I would get a T-Mobile uh, AWS compatible one back. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. Now, uh, the way that you can tell that it is a uh, AWS one, a one you'll be able to get 3G or 4G or whatever, it oh, should be 4G, anywhere that you were not able to get it before on your factory unlocked iPhone 5. Let's see, for warranty purposes, I'm going to go ahead and block out most of the serial number. But if you look right here, FH1C. Now, for those of you wondering, uh, let me go ahead and update that. For those of you wondering uh, what that means is uh, well, FH on the serial number just uh, says that it's AWS one. Uh, as you can see, it's getting you know 4G again. It's kind of hard to see. I can barely see it myself. Oh, wait. Really. This is. Should pop up in a sec. There's all the settings. Now your MMS proxy and your UA uh, profs, you're gonna need to manually reset. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now, just so I can show you how to do that. 155.165.50 colon 8080 HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.apple.com forward slash mms forward slash ua prof dot rdf now for those of you who are having uh, issues just sending a basic text picture message or any other issues on your network with T-Mobile after doing the stock carrier update with uh, well T-Mobile. Uh, yeah, that will actually fix that. So, yeah. Um, if you have any issues with your iPhone 5 that's from at and and it's unlocked, uh, take it to any Apple store, tell them, or make up an issue if you have to, and uh, yeah, get it swapped out. You'll get an AWS one back, but it will more than likely be on 6.1.4 or 6.13. So, jailbreakable, maybe not, but eh, it is what it is. Okay, this is 6 Talio. Comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 6 Talio Zero. And see ya.